Greetings everyone. I want us to look at our mathematics, both paper one and paper two. What is it that you need to prepare for if you want to be ready for your final examination at the end of the year? Remember, mathematics is easy, especially if simplified. All that we are here in these master classes is to simplify mathematics for you. Remember, it's both paper one and paper two, both 150, 150. And if you want to score A, in these exams, you must get at least 120 marks on each paper. How is the paper looking like? Your paper one is made out of only six topics. You can't fail to master only six topics. The first topic at the end of this year exams will be your algebra. After your algebra, your number patterns. After patterns, your functions, you call them graphs. There are about five graphs, financial math, calculus, as well as probability. That's how your paper one will look like. In terms of marks, the topic that has got the biggest marks in this section will be, of course, your calculus with about 35 marks at the end of this year. As well as your, your financial max also carries the same weight as your calculus, which is about 35 marks. Together, it's about 70 marks already. Where do we get the other marks from? Probability is the least marks with 15 marks. So is financial max. It also has 15 marks. So we've got about 100. These first, the first two will be about 25 marks, 25 marks. That's how your paper will look like at the end of the year. All together will be working on 150 marks. Your paper two, uh, the biggest section this year, it has changed. It used to be Euclidean geometry, which carries more weight. Now it is trigonometry. Trigonometry will be about 50 marks. Euclidean geometry will go down to 40 marks. Analytical geometry also 40 marks. This is 50, 40, 40, you're short of 20. This will be 20 marks. All together will be 150 marks. Of course, if you want to score A, get 120, a minimum of 120 on each paper.